today is Sunday, which means that it's spruce up day. Basically, this is our designated day where Ben and I do a deep clean of the entire house. So that's why I've got my AirPods. I'm gonna put on a nice podcast. So on my phone, I've got our spruce up checklist. I did the liberty of writing down all the cleaning tasks we need to do and then I divvied them up to our liking. The first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna do laundry. leg of my chores. I'm just folding up laundry and then I can just really enjoy my Sunday. I don't know, I feel like cleaning on a Sunday may not be the most exciting activity for those who are watching, but I have really grown to love this whole routine because there's something very satisfying about just seeing your house go from like, huh, to completely sparkling. And cleaning our house every Sunday is just like a guaranteed way of just having a good week over and over again. I feel like every year, the communication between me and Ben just gets more and more refined and evolved. I feel like a lot of bickering comes from the expectation that your partner is gonna do something. You just assume like, yeah, he's gonna take out the trash. He's going to hose down the yard. This has absolutely helped the health of our relationship. All right, oh, yes. I love when every sock is accounted for. So these two books by Martha Stewart are the ones that inspired me to do the spruce up checklist. I think out of these two books, I would just splurge and get this one because this one is really like the Bible of just taking care of your home. I love how she gives you like a specific schedule. Like in January, she'll show you what you need to do on the calendar. As someone who loves structure and directions, this book is absolute heaven for me. Mm. All right, I've got my nice scalding hot tea. I also have my bullet journal supplies because we're gonna do May spread. For May, we're gonna go with these lovely cherry blossom stickers. As usual, I'm gonna be going in with pencil first. Despite how many times I've done this, I still manage to mess up and I always thank God when I use my pencil because then I can just erase it afterwards. Whenever I do this activity, I try my best to catch myself if my mind wanders. This is kind of like a way for me to meditate. Because it's such a repetitive act for me, it doesn't require much brain power at all. So if anything, I just try my best to like be one with the pencil. I focus on each line, on each number, the way the marker moves, all of that. It's just a nice wholesome activity for me. All right, we are finished with the spread and I'm very happy with it. Of course, it is very uniform to all the other entries that we've done. So on the left, we've got my line calendar. And then on the right side, we've got my habit tracker. Pretty much everything is exactly the same. So yeah, that's pretty much my spread. I just scattered the little cherry blossoms all around the page. At the end of the month, I like to write down like the greatest hits or like the greatest moments of that month. And what I've learned, it's just a little moment for me to reflect. Luckily, I found this on World Market and it is the perfect dimensions. And oh, 
I am so freaking pleased with the way it looks. It's like in this suede material and it's really, really comfortable. I am so thrilled with this. shower I just did a nice body wash today and the reason why I'm not wearing my top is because I actually wanted to show you this belly serum that I've been applying on my body I actually went on like quite a journey on different body oils I think stretch marks are mostly genetic but hey I'm pretty sure some products can't hurt so the first body oil I got was by true botanicals this one's definitely like a cult favorite amongst the pregnancy community I don't know I really like the way it feels on my skin it does a really good job hydrating love the pump however I'm not too crazy about the scent I feel like since I've gotten pregnant my sensitivity to smells has definitely been affected like this one smells incredibly herbal like, I used to love the smell of Aesop herbal botanical fragrances but right now I'm just like, like, I don't know, there's something about it that makes me feel quite queasy. I think maybe that might change as I get further along in my pregnancy, who knows. But right now I'm in this phase where I just can't stand the scent. But as a product, I really, really enjoyed it. So that's why I switched on over to Ever Eden's Golden Belly Serum. I really wish it came in a pump though. This one is in like this very delicate dropper. I'll use a full drop of that. And then I'll just massage it onto my belly. So tomorrow I will be 22 weeks. Uh, I'll still be five months pregnant, but oh, crap, so crazy. I think in like the next week I'll be six months pregnant. I love the smell of this one. This one's like almost like it's slightly floral, a little bit sweet. I also get another full dropper and then I put it on my boobs because my boobs are also growing. It's freaking weird. I've had to get all new bras. I've honestly been living in these bras. They're so freaking comfortable. This is the this is in the Barely Zero collection, but I highly highly recommend. I also just get my arms too. I just I just use it as like a full body hydration situation. I mean, I don't do my body every day, but if I'm feeling quite like luxurious, if I want to really treat myself, then I'll just put it all over my freaking body. Ah, oh, but it smells so good. And I don't mind the scent going on my clothes because it's just a fragrance that I vibe with. I don't know, if you're pregnant, let me know. Do you guys have like scent slash fragrance aversions? Are there some smells where you're just like, I can't freaking smell that anymore. To the hall. I guess we'll start off with this item because it's already out. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. As you can see, it's good quality. It's nice and hard. <laughs> we love a good plant, mm -hmm. especially indoor plant, like fake plants these days for indoors. Yeah, honestly, we 
do not claim to have green thumbs, so we just go the artificial route, especially for the indoor plants. I like the moss as well, look. The moss looks quite real. Very realistic. But I was concerned about this little star... It doesn't really make what any What is it, starfish? Yeah. It's like when they made it, they're like, oh, guys, something's not right. We need, we need some kind of starfish. Right, everything's gonna be okay. It's a positive statement, you know? It's kind of everything's gonna be okay, guys. So that's what I like about it. Or they're kind of like they're smoking it. A... Joy. Joy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you can put one in there. Yeah, right. Ooh. Oh, you like this knick knack. You pick this one out. I pick this one out. It's got that kind of, you know, slight ceramic vibe, and then that kind of warmer sort of tone goes with a lot of the kind of the wood. You can see a lot of wood in here, a lot of warmy wood. Yeah. We enjoy the ridges here. Love it a ridge. looks like it was handmade. Yeah, right? but it definitely wasn't. But it wasn't. Mm -hmm. This is definitely uh, mass manufactured. Yep. Oh, nice. Look at the name. It's so cute. It's a ceramic dimple vase. Dimple vase. Ooh, it is. Because it has all these dimples. Yeah. Dimple vase. Dimple vase. That sounds like an insult. Dimple, dimple vase. vase. <laughs> oh, dimple vase. Oh, I like this one we got. I love the colors of it. Just to brighten up any corner of any house. A mini little cactus or something in there. A little oh. bit of cacti. Oh. That would be really nice. Bloody actually. lovely. Alright, this is just another a little pot. I've got a tiny little fake plant again. Fake. As uh, so it's a theme with us. You can see the kind of vibe we're going for mm -hmm. here. It's very cohesive. Yeah, very cohesive. This is not at all like the other ones. This is just something I've always wanted in my office. I don't, what are these called again? I don't know, but I see these in like the movies yeah. where it's like a very intimidating boss. Yeah. And you're just on the other side of the table. Or your therapy or something, and the guys. Uh, stressing. You know, my office is a lot of silver, mm -hmm. a lot of black. Goes with that. Something I've always wanted. And you know, I spent a lot of time with a metronome with drumming. I used to have a metronome in my ears for years. Is that everything we got? Yeah, that's everything we got at Living Spaces. Yeah, so as you can see, nothing overly practical, but... I think they're all practical. This is what gives a home some character, yeah. you know? Actually, I do have a couple of more home decor stuff I wanna share with y'all. I shopped at this website called Love and Gray, and I purchased all these pieces, and I'm very excited to show you guys. This is my first time ordering from them, so I'm very, very excited. The first thing I got was this leaning pot. It kind of looks like a snail shell, doesn't it? You can have it upright so it looks kind of like an asymmetrical vase, but I thought this would look really good on our wall. So my next item is also just another decorative object, purely for aesthetics. I think you can probably hold some things in here, but I actually just like it as a mini little sculpture. Again, we've got a lot of shelf space, so I thought that this would work out somewhere. Surprise, surprise, we've got another decorative object. This one I believe is a candlestick holder or you can like put a candlestick in there. I just really like ceramic pieces. This one also has the little speckles. So it actually works perfectly with this living spaces one. I did not know that this basket would be this large. I should have measured it, but I think this could work anywhere actually. We can put this out in the cabana. Does he like this? You like it? Okay, Ben, ben approves. I really liked how there's two tones on this basket. There's like a bit of mustard and then the rest is just beige. It kind of looks like small countries on it, doesn't it? And then for the grand finale, I have this wooden container. It's very, very lightweight. I don't know, I can store maybe my jewelry here. Maybe we can put the remote control. I don't know, but it's nice because you can have it out like that if you want to display things. Or if you want to keep things nice and neat, you can just put the lid on it and call it a day. So that completes the haul. Now we just need to find places to put everything. Oh, hi guys, welcome to my office. I think I might pop the little Newton here. Uh, so this is the little plot. It's, it's you know, a little fake thing, but it looks very fake. Pop it in there, you know, it kind Aww. of fits. It's better than before. It's better than before. It's better than before. It's very realistic. 